I'm on a mission to finish this book. Good morning guys! What is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke if you guys are new here and this is going to be another vlog. A few days in my life. I'm about to slip on our new merch. This launches today when I'm filming this. These crewnecks are part of our new Gals on the Go Matchbox collection. I will have it linked down below. You guys should definitely go check it out. These are on pre-order so we're collecting all the orders and then I believe they'll be shipped like a month from when that closes so I think it's gonna close in like a week or two. You can see the info on it on the website but they are so soft and so nice. Wearing a brown workout set from Lululemon. We're gonna go take a spin class, come back here and have a day. It's so cozy. I love this. It's like a nice oversized fit. I'm wearing um, a size extra large. Let's go get a spin in. I wanted to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is BetterHelp. I'm always so honored to be working with BetterHelp. I am a huge proponent of therapy. I know how much it has helped me and my people close to me in my life. If you're faced with something that might be challenging or like a big life transition, it can be really overwhelming and feel like you're facing it alone. I know navigating your 20s there's a lot of things that come along the way, you know, whether that be relationship troubles, family matters, moving. I mean, there was a time in my life when I just felt so like alone and isolated. The Boston days, you guys remember. Honestly, therapy has helped me work through a lot of those times. Starting therapy can be hard. The right therapist for you might not be like available in your area. It might be hard or expensive to find someone, but BetterHelp connects you to a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful advice. With BetterHelp, you can do your therapy via a video call, a phone call, or even like a text chat if you're somewhere where you don't wanna talk out loud. Whatever is the most comfortable version of therapy for you, BetterHelp has an option. BetterHelp is going to match you with one of over 30,000 therapists that are in their network. They give access to like a wider range of expertise than what might be available in your area. So to get started, you fill out a simple questionnaire. It's going to help address your specific needs. And in most cases, you'll get matched to a therapist within like 48 hours or even less. You'll be able to schedule therapy at times that are convenient to you and on your schedule. And if the therapist that you're first matched with doesn't feel like a right fit, you can change your therapist at any time at no additional charge. Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to start living a happier and healthier life. So if you think that you could benefit from therapy, if you wanna give it a try, you can consider using BetterHelp. You can go to betterhelp.com slash Michio. Once again, I'll put the link on screen here. It's just betterhelp.com slash Michio. I'll also leave it in the description below. Clicking that link is supporting me, supporting this channel. And it's also going to get you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. So you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. Thanks again to BetterHelp for working with me on this video, and let's get back into it. That was amazing. Theme was best of 2010's EDM. Ooh, so up my alley. I just saw Gigi Hadid getting paparazzi. That was my first time ever seeing a celebrity getting actively paparazzi. It's so awkward, guys. It is just silent. They're clicking away. It's so closed and so obvious that like they were called because they were all standing in one specific spot waiting for her to cross the street to get this one shot. I, I saw them clicking away. I thought it was like an advertising campaign. I was like, oh, what are we shooting today? And then I see her walking. I was like, oh, wow. She does look gorgeous though. Just got the most random assortment of items, but I'm feeling a little like under the weather. I don't know. I just, I can't tell if it was because like of that workout class and it was really hard or if I like don't feel well. You know when you have like random cravings when you don't feel well? So I got watermelon. It just looked really fresh. Um, olives, sushi that I'm gonna eat for lunch. Bunch of cottage cheese. I needed to restock for breakfast. I like these little individuals. I wanted to try this to the mush snickerdoodle oats. I actually didn't check if it was peanuts, but no. Just almond was safe. That sounds good. And then I got a mini baguette and soup. I figured this would make me feel better. I think I'm gonna eat the sushi and then I'll heat up the soup. I don't know, I just haven't been like big on breakfast, not intentionally. I just don't wake up hungry. But if I do wake up hungry, then I eat. That's how I go. Right, I'm in Midtown, recorded the podcast. Honestly, I'm losing my voice and not feeling too hot. I don't know what happened. It's like just coming over me. So I think I just need to go home and go to sleep really early tonight and rest up. I don't feel good. I pulled it together to record. And at least I have soup waiting for me at home. All right, guys, I woke up and this is my voice. So I guess I'm losing it. Good morning. Good morning. I feel a lot better than yesterday, actually. But I feel like I shouldn't talk too much because 
Oh, I'm just straining it. Still gonna make my morning coffee though. You can't stop me. I went to bed really early. I took a NyQuil and passed out, slept really good. I think that my voice will probably improve as I like go through the day because when I woke up, I was like, oh my God, I can't talk. And now it's like, it's getting better. At least we podcasted yesterday. So I still had a little bit of a voice. Brown sugar. I read online that I need to like straighten out this. I've been having trouble with this. So. Like, why is it giving me trouble? Sometimes when I like go to open it, it does that. And then I just have to unplug it and replug it in. Apparently I'm supposed to contact Nespresso because I think it's like a problem with the manufacturing. I just got some packages and I think a lot of them are things that I'm not exactly sure what it is. So I thought we could do a little PR haul unboxing. Let me know if you guys like these. Love this box cutter from Amazon. Cool. This is from Clarins. We got lip comfort oil. Should I put it on right now? I have nothing on. I always love like a lip oil, lip, like a glossy lip situation. Ooh, I kind of love that. Looks good. And then this is the double serum hydric and lipidic system. Looks cool. Also, if you hear stuff in the background, they're working um, on the balcony right now, so. This is from Living Proof. The future of hair care is here. What's here? Let's see. A clean like you've never seen. Advanced clean dry shampoo. I already have one of these and I love it. Um, a really good dry shampoo, so. Actually cleans hair plus softness and shine. I do agree with that. I don't know what's in this like bigger box. Noise. Oh. oh, I'm so excited about this. New Stanley Tumblr. They came out with new colors, so I'm really excited to see these. Oh my God, it's so cute. Yeah, it's like holiday theme because it's like trees and stuff, right? Oh my God, that's adorable. I like the white. I'm excited about this from Splits59. I love their workout clothes, so I got a few things. Well, I got to pick out a few things, I should say. This little number, I like that it's a little bit longer too. I'm looking for more like long line stuff, so it's like almost like borderline crop top. Another bralette. It's the same thing, just in blue. Oh, I needed this, like a nice long sleeve tee. Good for layering. And then I got matching leggings for those sports bras. These are the sprint ones. I think they're made for like more intense workouts, so like I figured for uh, spin. I feel like I always have to go for the more intense workout stuff on like wherever it is that I'm shopping because you know it's just better. I just saw what this is and I'm really excited about it. I don't know if I could show you guys but I think I'm going to be wearing this to one of our Chicago live shows. I can give you a hint and tell you where it's from. Nadine Mojave. They have the cutest stuff. It's very flashy. It's very out there. If you need anything for like an elaborate occasion she's your girl. Oh my god. Perfect for our live shows. I don't want you guys to see it but like I will record my reaction. I have to try it on and make sure it fits. Oh, it's it's amazing. It's literally perfect. Come to our Chicago live shows if you don't have your tickets. You could get a little preview. And if you guys are coming to the live shows, you better dress up. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to, but it's so fun when you guys wear pink, sparkles, anything. And my face just doesn't match my body. I just tan my face more and just don't worry about it, okay? We're good. Something about when I wear this specific like combo, I feel like a Kardashian. Like I feel like I'm Skinny as a needle, snatch. Whenever I wear this specific combo, it has to be this shirt. This is the waist length YPB tank top from Abercrombie. It has a built-in bra, so I'm not even wearing a bra. I wouldn't wear this to work out just because I need more sport than this, but it's perffect for like walking around, like having a loungy day. And something about it, like I still feel put together even though it's like very much so not, not even anything crazy. I have this in like the crop version too. It probably comes like up to here, which is good, but the, the waist length, it's really good, I'll link this down below. Also just ignore all this clutter. It could really be any pair of, I call them yoga pants, I know the youth calls them flare leggings, it could be any pair, but recently I've been into the Align flare leggings. They're so comfortable because they're the Align material from Lululemon um, with the flare. Something about this fit, I just feel like snatched mommy, like, cause it's like, it's tight, but it's like tight in the right places. It's just so comfortable. I love this. So this is what I'm wearing to go to Danielle's to rehearse. We're doing a practice for the live show and just like a meeting and stuff. So comfortable. I wanna shake my butt. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't know how to do that. I also don't know how to shimmy. The David Beckham documentary that's on Netflix right now, I started watching it. I find it so interesting and I love learning about Victoria Beckham too cause I, I do love the Spice Girls. In fifth grade, I don't even know how I ended up here. I think it's I was talking about shaking my butt. It goes back to that. In fifth grade, me and a bunch of my friends did a dance to spice up your life for the talent show, choreographed by like one of my friend's moms. 
but my mom was like involved in it too. Not the choreography at all. She's not talented with that. I did not grow up as a dancer and I feel like a lot of my friends did. Like, you know, doing dance classes and stuff like that. I think it might be the official like Spice Girls dance of it. All I remember is that there's one part of the dance where you have to shimmy. So you go like, you know, shimmy and my mom goes, I forget what happened. We were like practicing it or something and my mom was like, Brooke, you can't shimmy because I, I literally didn't know how to. I'd be like, now I feel like I got a little bit of shimmy in me. I can remember that my mom told me I can't shimmy that one time. I picture this for myself. I know, I know how this went down. Okay, let's go to Danielle's. I'm wearing this Hugo Boss jacket. They gifted it to me and I'm obsessed. Um, I actually got Ben and I tickets to the Giants game in a few weeks. I literally got this jacket in the mail. I was like, I need to go to a Giants game immediately bought tickets. I used game time because it's the best way to buy tickets. This jacket. How cute. Like I said, Hugo Boss, they have a collection with the NFL. I grew up watching the Giants. Like that was like my team, my dad's team, my brother's team, my mom's team, whatever. Like we, we love the Giants. I don't think they're very good this year, but it still is a really, really freaking cool jacket. I love it. And it's like the perfect thickness for today. Let's go to Danielle's and rehearse. Getting another medicine ball. Drink, I'm addicted to them. Especially with my voice playing horse. Oh, it's so good. Hello, girlies. Woo! We're giving um we're giving sports. Yeah, I know. Ew, you are. My hair is like behind the headband. I'm giving the egg <laughs> of myself. My lips are dry and crusty. We just rehearsed. We ran the show. Guys, <laughs> we just did so much. It's amazing. Ran the show in full. Ran the show in full, planned mm -hmm. some guests, not guests that are coming on stage with us, but invited some of our friends, yeah. in those cities. We did so much oh just God. now. We were here for four hours. So good. Yeah. Get your tickets. Chicago's almost sold out. I, I know. sold out by the time night this two. video goes up. Yeah, but New York. New York, it's gonna be a really good show. I just know that if I get my work done, I get Chipotle. Are like, you burrito or bowl girl? I forget. I'm a bowl. Bowl, same. But I want chips though. Like, and then I'll oh, of the course. Chips. Yeah, yeah. You need chips as a spoon. Of course. It's no. happening. Totally. I just got home and I am ravenous. Got a bowl, asked for a side of chips and guac, and they were like, oh, if you do a survey, you can get free chips and guac. So they like rang it up as zero dollars and just had me sit there and do a survey. So generous. Oh, carne asada. And I'm watching Love is Blind. I'm so behind. Good morning, guys. I feel like so congested still. Probably heard my voice, but I feel a lot better. I'm like, I feel like it's like moving through me, this cold or whatever that I had. Hi, it's the next day. We're gonna go take a spin class. Today is actually a really exciting day. Later in the evening, I guess it's more exciting. My parents are actually meeting Ben's parents for the first time. We met two years ago in October, started dating in December, almost two years. Our parents have never met each other. So today, tonight, like we're all going to dinner together. So that should be nice. I'm really excited. I feel like it's gonna go really well. And we're going to Chaconi's in Dumbo. We're gonna work out, come back, get some work done. And I'm gonna like head over to Brooklyn early so that we can go together. Cause I didn't wanna like show up by myself. I was like, all right, I'll, we'll go. I go to him first. We'll come together. I'm like overthinking this. Meanwhile, it's like I've met his parents like a bajillion times. My parents are super cool and chill, so there's <laughs> nothing really to worry over. But I just feel like it's something that you think about, like, you know, you're like over here in your head, like analyzing, you're like, oh my god, I hope it goes well, you know? I feel like that's with anything that you place importance on, you get like a little nervous for. That's at least how I feel with like anything in life, you know? I'm like, oh, I'm you know, about to go on stage and do a live show, like obviously I get a little nervous because I want it to go well. Let's go. I know I'm gonna feel so much better after it's over. It's like a gloomy morning, like I'm just like, oh, I could just stay here in my apartment. But like, I'm gonna feel literally amazing after this, I know. And I know that it will like just set me up for like having a good night and everything. Cause I'll be like, you know, I already accomplished something hard today. I feel so good now. Nice. I have to shout out the best sleepover bag ever. Tag me over, fits a lot of stuff. It has rained in New York for the past, I think, consecutive like eight weekends. It'll be like a nice week and then it's like Saturday, rain, whole day. I feel so chic in this jacket. It's from J. Crew a few seasons ago, but then I'm just wearing leggings and a sports bra underneath, so. I totally didn't vlog yesterday, but I need to tell you that the dinner went so well. We went to Chaconi's and Dumbo with Ben's parents, my parents, and then obviously Ben and I, and it was such a great time. We had so much to talk about and it was just like, you know, so great to all get together. I slept at Ben's and I am going to go home back to Manhattan for the day, get a few work things done. And I think just like tidy up my apartment, whatever he's gonna study. I feel like I've talked about this before, but he is in school, he's in medical school. 
<laughs> I thought that this person was pulling up to like say hi. Oh no, they're just the Amazon delivery. Okay, so I'm gonna be stuck here for a second, I guess. But yeah, Ben is in school, so he studies like, you know, on the weekends, whatever. I mean, really always. We definitely try to, you know, make it work with him studying and me doing like work stuff or me reading but sometimes it's just like okay like today i was like you're gonna have a big study day i'm gonna like leave you alone i will come back like after dinner time maybe around dinner time so it's like a reward because we can like hang out again then later i'm just having a chill weekend i feel like a lot of friends are like out of town and stuff so not too much going on and next weekend is halloween so i was like okay we'll take it easy for now you could probably hear my voice. I feel like this cold is just moving through me, guys. And I have a little bit of like a cough and stuff too. So I'm thinking it's gonna be a two drinks from Starbucks kind of morning on the way back to Manhattan. I think I need the medicine ball. This, that's been like the theme of this vlog. Pumpkin cream cold brew and then a breakfast sandwich. All right, let me go talk to this guy and see if he could scoot. Went to Starbucks, got two drinks because when you're an adult, you can. A spinach feather wrap. Mm, mm. I kind of want to go out to dinner tonight. It just gives me an excuse to like look pretty, get ready for like a date night. Fell into this terrible new habit where I just like put when I'm in between laundry loads, I'm like, oh, I know I'm doing like a load next of like towels and sweatsuits. I just put on the floor instead of using a hamper. And it's really just a bad habit. And I don't know how I got into this, but I did. I always forget that I have this cutie little crop sweatshirt from like two years ago. This is such a funny story. Actually, it was probably like exactly two years ago. It was like early November, two years ago, we went to LA. We have a lot of like LA based people, I feel like that work with us, whether they be more on like our podcast side, like work for podcast one. Anyways, I was there two years ago and it was like Friday going into Saturday and Danielle had a photo shoot on Saturday. I had no plans. I got invited to go to like a sports bar and watch some football games, some like college football games with a bunch of people. And like, they were like, oh, like some like, you know, other social media people are gonna come. And I like panicked and I was like, I need to look so good. And then I ran to Fred Siegel, which was like by the hotel, randomly got some stuff. I got like a black shirt, a black fuzzy jacket and this sweatshirt. It was like a bajillion dollars. But the good news is I still have all of the items and I still love them. So it was worth the splurge. I don't even think I ended up wearing this um, to, but I was like, oh, what a cool sweatshirt. Like I could show up and be a cool girl. I've had a chill Saturday at home, just doing laundry, cleaning up. I posted a YouTube video. I just got some beauty PR and I thought that we could try it together. I just have on like light concealer and powder. My skin is behaving a little strange right now. I think it's because I, is it called dermaplaning? Like when I, when you use these razors on your face, I do it like every few months probably where I just take one of these, like they're like tinkle razors from Amazon, they don't hurt. And I basically just go in and like shave my face with no makeup on, you know, fresh out of the shower, removes like the layer of like peach fuzz kind of on my face. And I feel like my skin always gets really sensitive and like freaks out after I do that. So just because I feel like you're like removing almost like a protective layer of like hair. I don't know if that makes scientific sense, but these are really good. They're inexpensive on Amazon. I do really like them, especially for the like mustache area. They're really good for hair removal, obviously painless and stuff, which is really nice. So I just got some beauty PR from Tower 28. They sent this huge mailer and it was like brown mascaras in. And I just saw this on TikTok. It was like a cool girl. And she was saying that, you know, we're going to brown mascara because it ch it's like more chill. I do agree with that. Sometimes the more casual vibes don't match with like a heavy eyeliner and like black mascara. So like right now I'm wearing this sweatshirt, leggings and Uggs, and I'm having like a chill night. I don't even know, maybe we'll hang out with some friends later, not sure. I was like, let me try this brown mascara. This is the perfect time. Just curled my lashes and I don't even know the last time I tried a brown mascara. Ooh, I like this mascara tip. I feel like it looks like black, but maybe it's just a little less intense. I can't really tell what I think. What do you guys think? It's amazing how much mascara does that. Like, I feel like it really just pulls the look kind of together. I'm gonna put on a little lip. Brown mascara, in or out. What do you guys think? I think I like it. I like their concealer right now, too. They have good stuff. I think it's gonna be casual vibes, maybe see a few friends. I think we're picking up pizza for dinner. Oh, I've been watching Love is Blind. It's one of my favorite reality shows. I don't watch too many these days. I'm watching Golden Bachelor as well which i do enjoy i used to be such a reality tv girly i just like don't it's not even that i don't have the capacity it's just like i don't even have the interest anymore of keeping up with things like that regularly but i guess like the netflix model is good for that because then you could just kind of like go in and watch it when you want to watch it so i've been watching that today i've also been listening to um tana mojo and brooke schofield's i think that's how you say her last name 
podcast canceled. I'm a new listener. In the past like few weeks, I really got into it. Obsessed. They're just like long chatty episodes. Their lives are like extremely entertaining. I think they're funny, relatable. It's crazy because like they're not relatable in the sense of like, you know, Tan is recording this from like her crazy mansion. But like the story she tells, I'm like, that's relatable. Like that's a relatable story to like when I was dating or like friendship things. And I just find them like hysterical and beyond entertaining. Let me know if any of you guys are canceled podcast listeners because I feel like there's like a whole world. I know a bunch of my friends are. This is the same pizza we've been getting from this place called Wizard Hat Pizza. It's very good. It's like an inverted pizza box. It's like very cool.